Dobrý deň, Romále, spaza ránku. The Roma people are a historically nomadic group originating from northern India, specifically the Punjab region. Europeans dubbed this group of people gypsies, incorrectly believing them to be from Egypt. Roma people lived throughout Europe, but nearly half of all Roma resided in Eastern Europe. By the 1900s, many Roma were no longer nomadic. Although not as widely taught as Jewish persecution, the Roma were largely persecuted during the Holocaust, and even centuries before. The German word for a Romani person is Zagoiner, which comes from the Greek word for untouchable. There was much prejudice against Roma throughout Germany, which the Nazi regime utilized to gain support from the German people. During World War II, German officials planned to deport thousands of German and Austrian Roma to death camps like Belsek, Sobibor, and Treblinka. They were also temporarily deported to the Jewish ghetto Lutz in Poland before being sent to the Kelno extermination camp. Hundreds of thousands of Romani people in Germany, Austria, France, Romania, and Croatia were deported, sent to forced labor camps, or killed. While the exact number of Roma killed in the Holocaust is not known, estimates say that around a quarter of the Romani population died. Post-war German officials of the Federal Republic of Germany claimed that the mistreatment of Romani people during the Holocaust was a legal action, not founded on racial prejudice. It wasn't until 1979 that the persecution of Roma by the Nazis was admitted to be racially motivated. Here are some first-hand accounts of the Holocaust from Romani people. Rita Prigmore. Rita Prigmore was born a twin to a Sinti family on March 3, 1943, in Würzburg, Germany, where a year prior, the Nazi regime had passed a racial law applied to gypsies, forcing them to undergo compulsory sterilization, and anyone who refused was sent to Auschwitz. Rita recounted, In 1942, just before her appointment for sterilization by the Nazis, my mother became pregnant with me and my sister. The abortion was cancelled when the Nazis realized she was carrying twins. Prigmore's mother was forced to sign away her twins to Dr. Werner Haida to medical research. As an adult, Rita discovered that she has a large scar behind her eye, which causes her migraine headaches, fainting spells, and weak eyesight. This scar is from Dr. Haida attempting to dye her eyes blue. Ossi Stoschkas I was the youngest of six in a Roman Catholic gypsy family. My family belonged to a tribe of gypsies called the Lawara Roma, who made their living as itinerant horse traders. My ancestors had lived in Austria for more than 200 years. My family wagon was parked for the winter in a Vienna campground when the Germans marched in. They ordered us to stay put. Us, as gypsies, were forced to register as members of a different race. When I was five, the Germans took away my father, then my sister Kathy. Finally, what was left of my family and I were deported to a Nazi camp in Birkenau for gypsies. There was very little to eat, mostly turnips. I became ill and was taken to the barracks for sick prisoners, referred to as the antechamber of the crematoria. I was given no medical treatment in the infirmary. Ossie died of typhus in my nutrition. He was seven years old. Sandu Staneshku and Mihai Goku. Sandu and Mihai recount the summer of 1942 when they were first taken by the Germans. We lost our carts, horses, all our baggage, and all the gold our fathers had hidden in the carts' shafts. In freezing cold, with no food, thousands of Roma were marched towards the river Bug. The survivors were forced to live in camps of flimsy hovels on the outskirts of war-torn villages or in stables on deserted collective farms to provide forced labor. Mihai says, My father, Mihai Gheorghe, died there. My mother, Maria, died there. Both my brothers died there. They died because of the bitter cold. There was nothing to eat and you couldn't wash. I think the filth was the main killer. Lice were crawling everywhere, like teeming ants in an anthill. That was our ordeal.
Romani gypsies today still deal with injustice and persecution. Many Romani immigrants and refugees face racial profiling and unjust deportation. Gypsy and the term gypped are frequently used in a derogatory way. However, many Romani people identify themselves as gypsies. Because many Romani people live an itinerant lifestyle, gypsy culture has been widely appropriated and romanticized in popular culture. TV shows and movies that have nothing to do with Romani people are titled Gypsy. Clothing brands, claiming to cater to the free-spirited and adventurous, appropriate the word Gypsy. The reality of life of Gypsies is poverty, persecution, and a feeling of having no real home. We can only hope but that by bringing awareness to this issue, we can stop the trivialization of Romani culture. To quote Rita Prigmore, We gypsies do not have a country of our own, and we do not strive for it. We want to be fully-fledged citizens in the countries we live in and have been living in for generations.